Good morning, friends. Welcome to that 1870s homestead. My name's Rachel, fresh out of bed, making Todd breakfast. And a lot of you guys have asked us to bring back what we used to call what's for dinner. And uh, we did it for like during COVID and everything. I probably shouldn't say that word. <laughs> we did it like 2021, 2022 quite regularly. And then we kind of got out of the habit last year. And this year, maybe we'll take the same spin or do something different. But, you know, harvest season is done. Um, we've mentioned to you guys that we've changed the way that we eat just a little bit. I would say Todd would be perfectly happy to be a full-on carnivore where I would not be satisfied. So I would say I'm a little bit more paleo. Um because I do still like my fruits and vegetables. But basically we're not doing like refined processed foods, which we never really did much of anyway, but not I'm not making my homemade breads. And if we have dessert or something like that, it's because there's company over or something like that and I need to make a dessert typically for other people. And I will partake, like I had my bread pudding recently. <laughs> so, um, I'm not completely strict about anything, just in general day-to-day -day life, we eat fairly modestly. Um, so I thought I would just share with you today what we're eating. Um, and I don't, I think we're having leftover smoked chicken for dinner. Um, don't know what we'll do for lunch, but this morning we're making Todd up some breakfast sausage. I typically don't eat breakfast. Every now and then, if he makes a pan of sausage, I'll grab a couple. Um, so maybe I'll feel like that after I get done cooking. It kind of just depends on what my tummy's saying to me and how good it smells. But I do, you guys see, typically in our videos, the stove top is always, we don't really have a place to store cast iron. So our cast iron just sits on top of our stove. Um, I will put my big Dutch oven away. Yesterday I made white chicken chili. Um, so that's what that was for. But if you're not used to or comfortable cooking in cast iron, you want a really well preheated skillet. Um, so don't put your food directly in your skillet like you would, um, any other ordinary pan. Uh, so I've got like maybe just shy of a tablespoon of bacon grease in there and it's been preheating as long as we've been sitting here talking. And I'm gonna throw these breakfast patties. This is from our pork. And um, I they vacuum seal them between these sandwich pieces, these little paper things and they can get kind of tricky to get out and because of vacuum sealing they don't come out nice and even so hear that nice and hot skillet and he'll just have this every now and then if i'm going to have breakfast with him um, i'll make eggs too and he might have some eggs with it but He's very, very content with just his meat. breakfast. I don't think I'm going to have any, but I'll come back and show you guys how I maintain my cast iron skillet after this gets delivered. Okay, not much stuck to it. Just some like little pepper flakes and stuff. So I get um, hot, hot water. 
I never use soap or anything like that on my cast iron. And then I, you have a metal chainmail cloth. Give it a good scrub. Hot, hot, hot. That is it. And then we head over to the, so super clean. Head back over here. And turn it on high. Let it dry with the heat. All right, you guys probably can't see it, but it's really starting to like show like, I don't know what you would even call that vapors or It'll eventually start smoking, and yeah, I don't like to let mine quite smoke. Now I have walked away from it before, and it's done that, and I literally add one drop of flaxseed oil, and I keep this cloth in the refrigerator with the flaxseed oil, and we give it one clean wipe down. And that just keeps it from rusting, keeps it well seasoned throughout its uses. And I don't have to do this every single time, um, but typically I do. I like to keep them just seasoned and they're ready to go for the next cooking. And a lot of times all I need to do is grab this rag because this rag has enough oil in it that I can just come through and wipe them down. But that's it. And then I store this with this in the refrigerator. And I would say I probably go through, like you'll see like this cloth, I go through a cloth and it's just cut up old fabric uh, once every three months or so. So that's it. So I'll see you guys back at um, lunchtime and show you what we're going to do for lunch. All right, it's my lunch time. Gotten ready for the day. Just been sitting around having craft time, making little ornaments for the season. Aren't they cute? Oh, some of those pine cones I got. Little, I don't know if they're gonna show up. So stinking cute. Having fun. And uh, I got hungry. So what I pulled out was I have leftover deviled eggs from the weekend gatherings. So I'm going to grab myself a couple of those. Mmm. Mmm. We got black of cheese out. It's usually cheese and meat and something else. Cut myself a few slices of sharp cheddar. And some ham, lunch meat, maybe two. This is kind of thick sliced, so two rolls. And a few pickled carrots, why not? And that's my lunch. There you go, it's gonna get in my belly. I don't know what Todd will have. He usually makes his own, sometimes something similar like cheese and roast beef or something like that. So 
usually just light lunch plates. And then we'll have something yummy for dinner. I know it's leftover chicken something. All the leftover white chicken chili got sent home with the kids last night. That sounds good today, but hopefully they're enjoying it. So we'll see you back. All right, it's dinner time. We have leftover chicken, leftover potato salad, and some pear sauce. Todd just wants, do you want pear sauce? Or no? No. Okay. Um, he just wants leftover chicken and potato salad. So we had some of his best friends over and look at that. Smoked. That's one of our chickens from this year. So he smoked two chicken spatchcock style. Um, and we had enough chicken left over. So that's two chicken thighs legs, one chicken thigh left. I think I actually I'll just have that thigh. And enough meat to make a big pot of white chicken chili yesterday. So this is day three of chicken for us. But that's how we do it. And we have some of our favorite brand of sauces, which is Kinder's. We love that brand. All right, I'm gonna heat these up, then dish out some good old potato salad. I'll tell you, that's our potatoes with our eggs, zucchini relish, homemade mayo, paprika, pepper, salt, can't think of anything else, but that's all that's left of that. So that's dinner and that is like a typical day for us. So um, potato salad is unique. We only make that like if we're having company over and we'll eat it if we have leftovers. Um, but typically it would be like chicken and say beets or something like that. So one second, I'll show you some more of those ornaments I made today. My little family of pine cone people, a little, a medium, and a, so a daddy, a mommy, and a little boy. These are really sweet. I just had these like wooden disc, and I just did like a little pom-pom and a cursive of the, the first initial of the name, and then the name spelled out. I like how those turned out. Those are cute like some little snowy pine cones with some just little garland ribbon and jingle bells and then this one's not done because i want to get some glitter paint but i made these cute little snowflakes with jingle bells and i want to glitter paint them and i need to put hooks on those still but that was fun it was just a fun day crafting the house is pretty well clean from, we had three days of gatherings in our house, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Friday had the kids over, Saturday had his friends over, Sunday had the kids over. So just a lot of um, enjoyable company and cooking and cleaning and cooking and cleaning. So it was a lot of fun. Yours is in the microwave now. How, how do you want to do these uh, bringing back the kind of what's for dinner? Because our what's for dinner is so boring these days. Honestly, it really is. We, I mean, the fanciest of it all is like if you sous vide a steak or something, but we don't do a lot of kind of like the old school pasta dishes and stuff where you're really super creative. So I thought if we shared more of a, what we eat in a day? I don't know. Might work. Might work. I don't, I don't know. Cause some nights like, like you said, it's really simple. Like we'll get like three or four hamburger patties out and grill them. And that's all we have for dinner is right. just hamburger. Yeah. Or, or just two big giant steaks. And that's all we have for dinner. So. Right. Right. So we'll keep playing this by ear and see how it goes. I wish I could do more of the filming when company is coming over because that is when we cook big. But if you're not a YouTuber or you're not a content creator, filming while you're cooking 
and getting things ready is quite tricky to do. Um, like remembering what did you film, what didn't you film, and not feeling pressure to do that while you should have just peace and grace abounding while you're getting ready for And it company. makes whatever you're doing take twice as long. Yeah. By the time you move the camera and move the camera and film again and move the camera but, and film again. And right. But we definitely want to show with you, show you guys definitely how we're consuming what it is that we grow here on the property. So while I didn't share with you the recipe, I guess my trick to potato salad is mash your potatoes. So I boil them and then I mix everything and then I go through with all heck with my potato masher and I mash them up really good. They're still chunky, but they're mashed and it's not just big potato cubes. Yeah. There's some other things like, like we could do like how we smoke this chicken. Like I've been doing it in a new way using a charcoal Weber grill instead of my Pit Boss Pit Boss electric wood pellet smoker. So there's things like that that we can share with you guys too. Yeah. So stick around. We'll figure out how, what this looks like um, and share with you guys as much as we can over this fall, winter, early spring season before we start growing again. Sounds good. See you guys later. Thank you. Uh, potato salad. Sure you don't want any? Yeah. It's so good. Did you throw all that mail away or did I? No, it's on the table. Okay. I did throw all the election mail away. There's a lot. One more day of chicken tomorrow, and there's a salmon patty still left in here. Whoever wins the race to lunch has their first pick. <laughs> okay.